what is up guys welcome back to the channel and another video so as you may have seen in a couple of the recent pov videos i have used the fuji film simulations i was using a couple of black and white film simulations and in those videos i think they worked pretty well in both of those videos i was shooting with the xt30 and i was using film simulations which i got from fuji x weekly and i also used the fuji film x ross studio during that process and in this video i just want to go into a little bit more detail as to how i was able to use the fuji film simulations on raw photos and get the final results that you've seen in the videos just the fact that i can have a look in camera by copying a film simulation or creating my own completely from scratch I can see that on the image through the viewfinder, take my photos and then return back Omen Extra Studio and adjust them and then save those adjustments. It's just pretty cool. It's pretty much like creating a preset in camera. That will obviously save you quite a bit of time, but it also allows you to see the scene through the viewfinder with pretty much a preset already on the photo that you've created um, to your liking. So yeah you're almost seeing the end result through the viewfinder and all you have to do is adjust exposure and stuff to get it as close as possible to what you want and the more i think about that the more i want to try and integrate it into my current workflow and hopefully i can get better results than i already do with my current process which is pretty much just shoot in raw and then use my presets in lightroom to get the final result but if i can get something quite close straight out of camera and then process it using fuji's own software um, I'm sure I can get some pretty good results. So here we are in Fujifilm X Raw Studio. If you want to use it, obviously you have to download the software. The link for that will be in the description. And if you've created some Fujifilm recipes on your camera or you've just used some of the generic ones that are already there and you want to adjust things a little bit, what you're going to have to do is take your camera and plug it into your laptop open up xraw studio and you will have something like this so these are the shots from the pov i did at the harbor a few weeks ago now and i've already made some adjustments to these i used the tmax 400 recipe which i got from fuji x weekly i just copied all those settings into the camera and went out and done the pov and then when i got back and opened them up in xraw studio i kind of felt like i wanted some more contrast so that is where sort of the fun begins. I'm not going to dive into too much detail in this one because I haven't used Extra Studio enough. But for that one video that I did use it for, it was um, kind of fun to play around with. So yeah, I'm just going to show you some of the settings and stuff and how to apply the film simulation to your raw photo and get the final result. Okay, so I'm just going to use this image. This is probably one of my favorites from the session shot of this telescope. Quite simple, but I thought it was kind of cool, just where it was sitting and stuff. And I've already made the adjustments because obviously I exported these photos and used them in the video. But here's what you can do. So if you have your camera plugged in, you'll see it up here. If you don't, it'll say waiting for camera to be connected. And the camera must be connected to your computer or laptop so that you can make these adjustments because it is working with the camera software to do it. Um, so. What you can actually do is you can push or pull, which if you're into film photography, you'll know what that means. It's essentially adjusting the exposure. I did adjust it a little bit in this one, but as you can see, you can make other adjustments. It is a little bit slow, um, the software at making these adjustments because it is working with the camera as well. So I think that's probably going to be the case with everyone, but probably going to be too bright. Yeah, that's way too bright. I had it one third of a stop. You will recognize all these settings from your in-camera menu when you create your film simulation. Um, this essentially just gives you the option to adjust those further to get it closer to what you want your final result to be. Just think of it a bit like a Lightroom preset. Before you go out in a shoot, you pick one of your presets. All your photos from that shoot have that preset applied and then you can come back and adjust it a little bit. That's technically what we're doing here. There might have been a better way to explain that, but hopefully you get the gist. So the cool thing about Extra Studio is obviously I shot these in black and white. I said I created the T-Max profile 
and that was using one of the monochrome simulations that's already on the camera with some adjustments but i can go in and pick any of the film simulations and that will then be applied to the raw image okay so this is where things start to get quite cool so obviously i've shot these photos using a black and white film simulation tmax 400 to be precise but the cool thing about fuji x raw studio is because i shot raw and jpeg i have both options so if i had have set the camera to just shoot jpeg then i would have ended up with this as a final result and um, the film simulation has been applied to it with all the settings that i had set in camera and i can't make any changes in x raw studio because the film simulation has already been baked into the photo with all the settings that I picked. But because I shot RAW and JPEG, I also have the RAW here, which has the film simulation settings applied to it. But the cool thing is, I can just go in and adjust any of these, including the actual film simulation itself. So it's currently set to monochrome, where the adjustments were made to turn that into the TMAX simulation. But I can just go and click on Velvia. Obviously this looks a bit ridiculous because of all the other settings that were used to create the black and white film simulation but yeah I can just go in and essentially change everything again like I did when I was creating the film simulation. So I've picked a turner here and I can go in and change essentially everything the highlights, the shadows, the colour the sharpness, white balance, the color chrome effect, the green effect, I can change all that because I shot RAW and JPEG. Which is quite cool because if I created a number of different film simulation recipes, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have, um, you can come back and think, actually I don't think that film simulation would look as good as this one. You can just go in and change it and you're actually dealing with the RAW photo and it's the Fujifilm software that's changing it. So you're going to get the results that Fuji intended with how the raw photos are processed, if that makes sense. Now, obviously these settings are not the same as Lightroom where you have all the different sliders and stuff, but if you play around with all these settings and create looks, I'm sure you can get them pretty close to the final results that you would have when exporting from Lightroom, which is kind of what I intend to try and do. I almost want to recreate the presets I use in Lightroom with this and see how close I can get and just how nice the photos look so yeah i just very quickly wanted to show you a few things that you can do and just kind of how powerful x raw studio can be i'm sure some of you have used it and some of you may not even really have heard of it um i would recommend giving it a go though and just seeing what looks you can create because it is quite fun so once you went through all the settings made all your adjustments that you want all you have to do is come down here click convert and that will convert your raw photo to a JPEG with all your settings applied and you're pretty much good to go. That's just a very simple run through of Fuji X Raw Studio and how I used it um, to get the final results in that recent POV video. Like I said before, I do intend to use it a lot more and I'm looking forward to creating some recipes and hopefully I can add it into my workflow and get better results from it. I will be doing another POV photography session soon um, I'm not sure what simulation I will use or whether I'll create my own for that one or at least attempt to but after I play around with it and take photos in a few different scenarios and create some looks and hopefully get them close to what I want the final result to be I'll do a follow up video and just let you guys know what I did and yeah just how I'm finding it. But anyway just a quick one for today hopefully you found that helpful in some way I definitely would recommend downloading xraw studio and giving it a go it's quite fun to play around with but yeah i think that's it for this one like i said in the previous videos we will have a live stream coming up it will probably be after this video so probably a few days after this video is posted hopefully we can get a live stream going we have some photos and stuff in the discord that we want to check out in the live stream and give our thoughts on um, and just chat with you guys so stay tuned for that and yeah as we always say take it easy don't be a stranger the battery in the camera run out multiple times in this video which is always fun even though it's plugged in and charging uh yeah fun fun